Hello everyone, this is Flow754 with my first ever Saints Row modding tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how you can create your own clothing items for Saints Row 4. For that, I'm going to use these three tools up here. Thomas Jeb's tool collection, the actual STKB release, and the workshop upload tool. Also, you're going to need these two XML files down here, which I extracted from Saints Row 4, but you might as well download them using the link in the description. Alright, let's get started. First, we'll have to ask ourselves, how can we achieve this? How can we implement a completely new and original clothing item in Saints Row 4? Well, for that, we will have to duplicate an already existing item, change its name, and swap out its 3D model for a custom one. So, what we're now going to do is uh, open Saints Row 4 and head to the uh, closest Planet Zin, the clothing store in Saints Row 4, uh, where we will um, find a clothing item that roughly matches the one we're trying to create and duplicate that one with uh, command line tools. So here we are, this is Planet Zin and uh, for my mod I'm going to create uh, an item for the upper body. Uh, more specifically I'm going to try to create a vest without sleeves. So I'm searching for an item now that uh, covers about the entirety of the upper body except for the arms uh, so that I will not have to adjust which uh, polygons of the player character are going to be hidden later on in the game files you know otherwise you could like get clipping issues so that looks about fine I think I'm going to go with this one so uh, Let's just note the name. It's uh, Puffer Vest. Memorize it and uh, we'll have to look into the game files now. So let's get back to our working environment. Alright, now let's open reference strings at XML. This is the file where all strings for Saints Row's in game customization menu are stored. So here is going to be uh, Puffer Vest as well. Right, we found it, and next to it, there's uh, this name here CM Abdi Puffy Vest 01. That's the variable name we're going to search for in the other XML I'm going to link you to, and then we will find the actual customization item. So, here, the display name is exactly the one from the strings file. Uh, in this case, the name matches perfectly, so here both are the same. But that does not have to be the case here. Uh, for example, uh, you see the display name does not match the item name uh, at all. So we have to make this extra step and search for the actual item name in the customization items table. Alright, and this customization item here we're going to clone using one of Thomas Jeb's tools called customization item clone. So uh, that is a command line tool, so you'll have to open CMD first and uh, head to your tools directory, the tools folder, by copying this address up here and typing in cd, wait, sorry, cd and control v. So that should do it, okay. Um, now let's enter the name of the tool we're going to execute. And uh, now we run into a, an error message because we are obviously missing some parameters here. Also it gives us a help text which we are going to use to uh, write this command properly. So next to Thomas Shepard Central the customization item clone, you have to state the source item, which is going to be uh, CM abd puffy vest 01. So we'll copy that. And uh, then you'll have to come with your own name. Make sure this is an original name and uh, it's not a copy of another uh, name up here in the uh, customization items table 
uh, a good practice for this is to include your own username so that no other modder uses the same name. Otherwise, it could be conflicts between mods and you don't want that. So just add your username and then some descriptive name like mod example. And now it will create a uh, new directory for you, a new folder uh, containing all your uh, mod files. Just like that, duplicated an existing customization item, and now we're going to upload it to the workshop. Because why wouldn't we? It's a working mod already. So open the packager, and let's test this. Drag and drop all your files uh, over to this win window, but make sure to not include string XML. That's just something I'm going to cover later. And upload this to the Steam Workshop by uh, hitting Save to Steam Workshop. And we're going to upload a new mod, uh, which goes by the title uh, Venos SDKB Example Mod. You'll have to excuse me, my keyboard is from the dark ages, so that's why it makes these uh, clucky noises. And set the uh, mod to private, so you don't flood the workshop with work in progress mods. And yeah, let's just upload this. Alright. Now we can um, view this file in the workshop, which automatically loads after upload is complete. And subscribe to our mod. So now, if we go into Saints Row 4, we should see our uh, cloned puffy vest. Alright, now we're at Planet Sin, and let's just have a look at the customization options for the upper body you should see a clone of the Puffer Vest, so success. Uh, now what we're going to do is um, just edit this name so it does not say it's a clone of the Puffer Vest but uh, uh, rather our very own uh, customization item. And later on we're going to uh, replace the 3D model as well but for now let's just focus on the name. So let's get back to a working environment and uh, before I do anything else I'll just uh, grab this folder here, this mod folder and put it somewhere more easily reachable. Uh, now I'm going to edit one of these strings files, specifically I'm going to edit the US string files because I'm playing the English version of Saints Row 4, but you might as well uh, do the same thing with whatever uh, language you're playing the game on. So yeah, I'll just open the US XML and replace clone Papa Vest by something original like uh, mod example vest. Save this. Now let's just run Thomas Jab to build strings by dragging this file on top of it. By doing that, a black window pops up and you'll have a new file in your string XML folder. So now we're going to cut this and uh, paste it here. And I'm going to replace the existing US uh, language file. Also, I'm going to delete all these other files because Saints Row 4 automatically replaces all missing language files with the US versions. Now I'm just going to open the upload tool again and drag and drop all these files in here. Save this to the Steam Workshop and this time we're going to update an existing mod rather than upload a new one and we're going to select the one we just created which was SDKB example mod. Um, what are the changes in this update? I'd say we uh, edit custom strings exclamation mark and upload.
Okay. All right, let's just force Steam to redownload our mod by unsubscribing and subscribing again. Uh, so it's definitely updated in game. And as you can see, Saints Row is now uh, not ready to launch because it's still updating. But it should be done very quickly. So now, if we head to the upper body customization options, we can see that our newly created uh, Puffa Vest clone is now called Mod Example Vest. I'm going to purchase this, and uh, next up is going to be replacing the actual 3D item. But for now, that concludes our first tutorial in this series. Uh, yeah, see you later.